All right, guys, here we go. Episode four. So we're getting the Trailblazer back together. We've got to be in Florida here in, I guess, four or five weeks. Clock's ticking, and we want to get this thing race ready here relatively soon because I'm going to have to rent somebody's dyno to get this thing tuned with the new cam. So last video we saw, we had kind of got the short block together and we had assembled the heads, but of course don't have them on yet. So since then, we've uh, got the timing cover back on it. We uh, have the uh, new Corvette spaced uh, dampener on it now. Also went ahead, I've got this thing up on uh, perfect TDC, and then we went ahead and just made a timing mark there. That way I can make sure that the motor and the computer are truly in sync, just in case that like reluctor wheel is off a little bit. Shouldn't be, but we always like to make sure. So. Got to get this back together, and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to get the cylinder heads back on this thing. We'll get the electric water pump on it. Uh, and basically, you know, intake and everything. We do need to check the push rod length so that way we can make sure we get the right push rods. But other than that, guys, that's pretty much where we're at right now. So just want to go ahead and show you the progress here, and we'll go ahead and together we are going to get this thing back together. So let's get to it. And now it is time for the old Mazir electric water pump. And I have been wanting to put this on this engine since I think I hit uh, checkout online when I got it. So a lot of people might, you know, ask, well, you know, electric water pump on the street, like, will that work? And the answer is yes. Actually, these things are super reliable. They actually flow quite a bit of water. And y'all can't even begin to tell me that. This water pump right here don't look freaking sweet. So we'll go ahead. We got six bolts here to stick this thing on. And then we'll uh, start moving on to the intake. So I promised you guys we were going to do some sketchy stuff to get this intake to fit the cow. And I'm hoping I am not disappointing here. So what we are going to do... Is probably used the completely wrong tool for the job, but you know what? This is closest. So kind of give you the rundown here as to what I'm thinking in my mind. So I've got a block of wood from the ground to the bottom of the oil pan. Then I've got two blocks of wood stacked on top of each other with a floor jack on top of it. And then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take this precision crafted piece of two by four that matches the profile of the fast intake and we are going to put that like right in here. And then we're going to proceed to use leverage to actually push that cow up and create the, I think it's about a half inch of clearance in the front that we need. And then it's about, I'd say about three quarters of an inch in the back. It's kind of that sheet metal is kind of angled down a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and um, give this jack a few pumps. Hopefully we don't bust the bell housing off and uh, we'll see what happens here. So fingers crossed, let's do this.
So if watching that stressed you out, I can promise you in person, it was about a thousand times worse. The good news, guys, the intake fits. And I mean, if you were to look at that cow, you would think that was factory. So the old floor jack and block of wood method, not bad, not bad. Uh, I would probably, you know, doing this again, I'd probably do it right. Go ahead and cut the cow out and, you know, uh, weld some metal back in. But hey, we're on a time crunch and sometimes, you know, doing it the right way makes for bad video. So we'll go ahead, we'll move forward here. I'm gonna go ahead and yank this intake back off. I'm gonna build it on the bench. So like put the injectors in it, the fuel rails, the throttle body and all that. Uh, and then I can bolt it back on and start figuring out what we need to do for fuel lines. My transmission dipstick's a little bit kind of right where the fuel rail is gonna be. So we may have to improvise there, but she's looking good guys. I am very excited for the way this is uh, shaping up. Here she is, all bolted up. So, of course, we got the fast LSXR intake, fast fuel rails, and then we got fuel injector clinic injectors. I went ahead and fast sells uh, some brackets to mount these fuel rails, but I'm impatient, and I was like, you know what? I'll just go ahead and make some right now. So, we went ahead and got those knocked out, um, and again, also got the Motion Raceworks throttle body on here, and wow, wow, she looks pretty good. So let's just set this on the motor real quick and see what she looks like. And there she is, boys, looking good as freaking ever. So I just got it setting on there right now. I actually need to uh, pull the intake off because in that harness back there is actually the wiring for when we were running the factory drive-by-wire throttle body. Uh, we're not going to be using that now, and I frankly, I just want to kind of clean everything back up again. So I'm going to go ahead and I'll uh, take that back out of the harness and I need to get this intake out of the way to do it. Uh, also, while I'm in here, since we were drive by wire, I need to go ahead and modify the gas pedal. We'll go ahead and get a, uh, a throttle cable set up uh, connected to the new cable throttle body. And then the catch tank. So you may remember we had the, uh, the catch tank mounted right here on the truck bracket, like when the alternator was up there. Well, we're going to go ahead and being that we're running a different alternator uh, arrangement now and accessories... I'm actually going to go ahead and mount the overflow tank back there. And then this uh, this hose right here will go to one of the ports. And then the valve cover over there, it'll pop out and go around and go to the other one. So I'm just going to reuse this hose, cut it to length. In fact, I could probably even reuse that in too. But guys, I am loving how clean this looks. This is totally different than uh, what we were doing before. And one day, I can freaking ever save up some money again. I'm going to put some aftermarket valve covers on here. Because, man, just the factory valve covers and the coal packs, it just ain't smooth. So, while we're doing this, let's go ahead. Let's get that, uh, let's get that catch can mounted. All right, guys, here we go. That's going to be the final rest in place from a catch can. I just got one bolt in it for right now just to hold it. But we'll do a, a final mount there. I was actually just laying out what I'm going to do for my uh, AN lines for my catch can. I got to do a, a big AN order because I'm going to make all new, basically, fuel lines for this because of the, the new fuel rails. Been using these Red Horse Performance fittings here as of late. They are awesome. So probably just go ahead and get everything from them. I got a bunch of AN lines I got to make for the Cadillac too. So going to be a little bit of a big order, but we'll go ahead and uh, we'll get that stuff made. Uh, also, we're not going to be spraying nitrous here, uh, probably the first half of the year. So I'm not even going to bother put the nitrous plate on it or the solenoids or nothing like that. I went ahead and just basically just capped off the nitrous line there. So guys, we're getting, uh, getting in the home stretch. I cannot believe how much more room we have in this engine bay 
compared to factory. I mean, like, literally, it is night and day difference. So the only thing that we've got to do at some point is get these god-awful factory valve covers off of here. Because I still got to bolt the coil packs and stuff back on them once we get our push rods in. And, in fact, do me a favor. Tag Motion Raceworks. You know, maybe they'd be so kind as to help us out a little bit on a set of valve covers because, man, we've been using a lot of this Motion Racework stuff here lately. Catch can, throttle body. Uh, of course, we got this from Motion Raceworks, but this is the, the War Speed alternator bracket. Got the Motion Raceworks timing pointer down there. Hopefully, at some point, we can get a set of their valve covers on here. It's definitely on my bucket list, and, uh, man, I'm saving my pennies to make it happen. But, guys, I'm very, very happy with how all this is coming out. It's super clean. You know, once we get the rest of these uh, AN lines made and kind of all tucked in, it'll flow really well. And then kind of last but, lot, uh, last but not least, I've got to make two radiator lines. And I don't know what I'm going to do on an air intake yet. I don't know if I'm going to use my old one that basically did a 90 degree and came around and came down to here. Or I might even thought about just doing a 4-inch velocity stack. Um the only thing is just that heat from the radiator. I, I don't know what I'm going to do there yet. So I might play with that a little bit. Maybe I might make like one or two intakes and uh, test them at the track and see what kind of powers uh, had, if anything, by running a different intake setup. But other than that, guys, that's pretty much it. We are getting ready to go to Pennsylvania. My wife's family is from the Lancaster, Pennsylvania area. So we're going to spend a couple days up there for Christmas. So in the meantime, I'm going to try and get some parts coming. So that way when we get back, full steam ahead on this, full steam ahead on the Cadillac. But in the meantime, guys, I hope you all enjoy the holidays. Definitely spend it with your loved ones. And I, I really appreciate everything you guys have been doing here lately. The freaking subscri subscriber count's going through the roof. It's kind of got me pumped and energized to make some more videos. So in the meantime, y'all, we appreciate the love, and we'll catch you on the next one.